This is the second video in the 5 minute math series where I look at a typical test question and try to uncover the math that lies behind it. And this time the question is about fractions. The question reads as follows Which of these fractions is not equivalent to a quarter? And the options are 2 eighths, 10 fortieths, 4 eighths, and 5 twentieths. The two key words here are fractions and equivalent and I'm going to explore fractions in pictures to get to the heart of what these words mean. First I'll create the fraction one quarter by slicing up a pizza. Now on this screen I can create two fractions side by side and I'll start with this one on the left. When you create a fraction there are two key steps. The first is how many slices for the whole circle. On this software this is controlled by the number at the bottom of the fraction and its mathematical name is the denominator. If I click this yellow plus button below the line there are now two slices and you can see that the denominator has increased from one to two. One more click and there are three slices. Another click and it's gone up to four. So now the circle has been cut up into quarters. So far I've just sliced up the circle but I haven't selected any of the slices yet. To create a fraction I also need a number bigger than zero at the top and this number is called the numerator. It tells you how many slices are selected. So this time I'll click the yellow plus button above the line. So there's one quarter two quarters, three quarters. And now I'll reduce the numerator again by clicking this minus button above the line. It's gone to two and then back to one. Now only one of these quarter slices is selected and this fraction is one quarter. It's written like this, one on the top and four on the bottom. So that's fractions. I also said I'd look at the word equivalent. Using the fraction on the right, I'll slice that one up into eighths. So, as you can see, the denominator is now eight. And I'll adjust the numerator so that the two fractions side by side are the same size. There's one eighth, and now it's two eighths. And as you can see, one quarter and two eighths are the same size. This is what equivalent fractions are. Different numbers, but the same size fraction. I'll try twentieths this time. And I'll adjust the numerator so that the fractions are still equivalent. It's currently two twentieths, three, four, five. And there we are. Five twentieths is equivalent to a quarter. In fact, there are lots and lots of fractions equivalent to a quarter, but all of them share this property, which is that the number at the top, the numerator, is a quarter of the number at the bottom, the denominator. And returning to the question, which of these fractions do have this property, that the numerator is one quarter of the denominator? Well, 2 is a quarter of 8, 10 is a quarter of 40, 5, as you've seen, is a quarter of 20, but the odd one out is 4 eighths, because 4 is not a quarter of 8. And if I create a picture of 4 eighths, I need one more. You can see that four eighths is equivalent to a half, actually twice the size of the other fractions. Well, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and I hope you find these sorts of pictures helpful as a way of understanding what a fraction is, as well as the idea of equivalent fractions.